Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sans World and last week we talked about five reasons why you shouldn't go to production school. And now today we're going to be talking about five reasons you should go to production school. So hopefully you enjoy this and if you want to see the previous video, you can always click here. Reason number one, connections. Connections is like the biggest thing that you can get in the music production world. If you want to be a doctor, you go to medical school. If you want to be a lawyer, you go to law school. But the good thing about these places is that you meet people who want to do the same thing you want to do. So let's say you're looking for a job and you're a doctor and one of your friends that you made in school um, landed a job and it turns out they need another doctor, then he can recommend you and there you go. In music production world, imagine you're in a class with a couple of people, you guys become really good friends and you know, whenever someone in the class makes it big, they'll be more inclined to help you get to the top as well. They'll give you advice because you guys know each other, you build a friendship by going to school together and you formed a bond. Hey, you're a producer too, right? Because I'm trying to make new friends. Yeah, sure man, I'm not gonna make new friends. I'm actually making like big room house, a tech house, anything that really inspires me right now. What about you? That's awesome. We can go to a club together and you know, just get inspired and all, you know? Alright man, well, I'm down for anything, just let me know, and I guess I'll see you next time. Alright baby! Number two, some people just need to be in a school setting. As you guys know, there's different ways of learning, and a few, I know a few of them is, there's the visual way where you need to see what you're learning in order to understand it better. Some people just need to do it, they need to be like, oh I want to learn how to garden, I'm gonna fucking just do it, and I'll learn as we go. And then some other people need to listen or hear it. So that's different ways of learning. So some people can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna go on YouTube and learn because then it probably doesn't work for them. So going to a school setting kind of gets you into that mentality that okay, I'm at school, down to business. Number three, some people just need to spend money on something in order to devote themselves to it. It's like me playing tennis. I used to play because my girlfriend used to play tennis in high school and I really enjoyed it and then I finally bought a racket so I can go play with her because I couldn't borrow the school's rackets when it was like Saturday. And in all of an instant, I just started going to practice how to play tennis like every day, three hours a day, I would go to the wall, practice. Same thing with music production. Uh, some people just need that, if, you know, need that extra push. So if they spend like $20,000 on music production school, um, they'll be like, okay, I paid this much, I better learn as much as I can to get my money's worth. So if I buy a dildo, I can be gay too? Four, some schools are top of the notch and they provide equipment that you wouldn't have access to unless you paid a studio $20 an hour to be in there. And the cool thing about it is when you attend these schools, if they have these centers where like they have a mixing, two mixing centers where they have an SSL and all that stuff, and that stuff's expensive. Uh, and SSL's Matrix 2, which is one I wanna get for my personal studio here. Um, and I think Dennis Koyu owns one, it costs $25,000. So imagine how much the big ones cost that they provide at these schools. So you have access to this equipment that you can you know, pretty much get hands on feel. Now, it's not as important now because people are making their music on laptops, but let's say you're trying to be an engineer as well, then it would be really important for you to attend a school like this. Number five, some schools offer access to mentors, which is pretty much one-on-one -on -one tutoring with someone that is pretty much doing what you want to do, but you're kind of, you know, not as experienced as them, as them so they kind of guide you. And there's different types of mentors. They can be like marketing mentors, you know, uh, musical, how, you know, and all kinds of stuff. Like I could be a sound design mentor for someone that wants to do sound design. So that's pretty much the thing, the cool thing about attending a school is that you have access to that as well. Oh master, how can I cue this lead? It's been bothering me so much. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Now it makes sense. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. I always try to make my videos kind of serious with a funny twist to them because I feel like it's boring just being like, okay, this is why you go to production school. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here. Check out all the videos that we offer here in the Samuel channel. And don't forget to subscribe, click here to subscribe to the EOS channel, which is the Evolution of Sound channel where we're gonna be releasing music. We're gonna be posting up tutorials and we're gonna be posting up really cool things for you guys to enjoy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.